I'm Tom Lane, and this is The Campaign in 100 Seconds. Watch this. If you're not in front of your TV, come on over and get in front of it. Today's subject, horror movies. <laughs> Why? Because it's nearly Halloween. And also because life must feel like one for Mitt Romney right now. Oh my God. That was her! Oh! I feel like In particular, it probably feels like this. Yes, it's that moment at the end of the film where the nemesis suddenly springs back to life just when it's not expected. For Romney, the nemesis is Rick Perry, and like the killer in the Scream movies, suddenly he's everywhere. Hello. He was making a bid for the intellectual high ground with his flat tax proposal. The personal income tax is a flat 20%. You're going to like this. He was dog whistling to birthers. I don't have a clue what this birth certificate says. And he was even charming Bill O'Reilly. You're going to stay right there in South Carolina for us, uh, Governor, and we'll be back in a moment. I'll be, I'll be right here for you, Bill. Basically, his campaign seemed to be springing back to life like Glenn Close at the end of Fatal Attraction. <laughs> The scariest thing for Romney is probably that Perry has about $50 million from the last quarter. That means he's got plenty of money to do ads in early states like Iowa. To us, those look a bit like this. I'll create at least two and a half million new jobs, and I know something about that. But to Romney, they probably seem a little more like this. Okay, it wasn't that scary, but still, ooh, we just couldn't resist.